Thank you guys. Yes. It feels like a show in here. <laughs> this is, usually when I do these, it's all seated and, and kind of boring. So this is really cool. It's kind of exciting. That's because uh, we're into it, Nita. Yeah, exactly. We're ready to walk with you. Standing room only. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, how many of you guys have been to one of my clinics before? Anybody? No, you. Okay, so you guys haven't heard any of my jokes. That's I've good. seen your stuff. <laughs> I've seen your stuff. So, uh, so well, the way this works is I'm going to chat a little bit, I'm going to play a little bit, I'm going to chat a little bit. But as always, every single one of these clinics is for you guys, not me. I already know what I'm going to do. So I really want to gear this towards you guys. I'm going to be focusing a lot on the gear today. But uh, when we do Q&A, please do raise your hand, shout out anything you want to know. Yes. I'm going to get to as many as I can. <clears throat> and then as soon as we finish up, I'll be right out there doing meet and greet, signing autographs, taking pictures with every single one of you guys. So uh, first you things roll! first. <laughs> you roll on so many levels. First things first, I'm going to play a little bit, and uh, then we'll get right into it. All right. Cooper. Need a <laughs> <laughs> roll. 
But uh, contrary to popular belief, I did not actually fall out of the sky and into the Alice Cooper gig. So I want to start out today by talking to you guys a little bit about the process that got me here today. How many guitar players in the room? Yes! This is a good, actually, this is a good ratio no. for me. <laughs> That's why I'm here this to is, <laughs> You don't play guitar? I do play guitar. That's why I'm here. And you're a heck of a singer, my, too. <laughs> I think I've heard you sing louder than my guitar. Yeah, I, I Give this guy a hand, you guys. I know, everything, I know everything you're doing. I just don't have the strength anymore. Well, that's what we're going to work on today. But I'm going to ask you to let me talk now. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> I love your enthusiasm. Don't keep, okay. keep it up. Sorry. Thank you. No, I appreciate it. Thank you so much. So, uh, I started playing guitar at the age of 13 years old, and there was a special movie that inspired my love of playing guitar. Any guitar players in here that have not seen the movie Crossroads? Oh. One. You're, oh, sorry, that's, that's your parents' fault, that's not your fault. <laughs> sorry! That's you! Ella, take off your shirt. Okay. What's your name? Cadence. Cadence. You have some uh, summer homework. Okay. Dad? Is this Dad? So, make sure she does her homework. You have got to see the movie Crossroads. Okay. Can you play guitar? Yes. Okay, so this is the movie. Just be careful, Dad. She's going to start playing a lot faster after she sees this movie. So you guys have all seen Crossroads. You know the scene I'm talking about at the end of the movie. And I'm not going to spoil it for Cadence, but the rest of you guys know the great scene in the movie where the, you know, the protagonist meets the devil's guitar the player, dance. who is played by... Steve Vai! Right, good, Steve Vai. Okay, you guys get one gold star. <laughs> you guys get, yeah, all of you guys get an A-plus on that one. So Steve Vai, the great Steve Vai, did that scene in Crossroads. And to this day, I still aspire to be as cool and collected and awesome as Steve Vai was in Crossroads. And, uh, and that was it. So I was 13 years old. Uh, I joined my first band. I did my first tour two years later when I was 15. That was Vans Warp Tour, which sadly is no more. But it's such a oh, <laughs> collective sigh. <laughs> but it's such a great way for a young band to cut their teeth. And I remember I was in an all-girl band. I was an all-girl metal band. We were playing on the smallest stage in the entire festival. Our stage was a, what's, what's called a rotating stage. So one person in the band had to get up at 7 o'clock every morning and go down to the festival grounds and ask what time we were going on. And it could be either 10 o'clock, right when doors opened, or it could be 8 p.m., like right before the festival headliners. So we were basically on jump at a moment's notice for the entire summer. Cool, cool. Um, most bands tour in a van, right? So we got a van. We, you know, we borrowed a van for the summer for the tour. Bear in mind, I'm 15. Bass player in the band is 13. Uh, the other two girls in the band, I think the drummer was a little older than me, and the other guitar player was two or three years older than me. So we're all in high school still. And uh, so we, we borrowed this van. The van broke down two exits into the tour. <laughs> two freeway exits in, and we're done. We're on the side of the road. Uh, we had to call our drummer's mom to come and see us. She brought our drummer's truck, which she had gotten, I think, for a 16th birthday present. You guys know those trucks, the pickup trucks that fit two in the front, and then they have the cab and the cab cover on the back? So we did two months of Vans warp Tour with two people riding in the front cab of the truck and two people laying in the back of the cab oh. underneath the camper bed. That's rock and roll. It is rock and roll. Hell yeah. And if you guys have ever ridden the back of a truck, which I hope most of you have not, <laughs> you're, you're not supposed to ride back there. Like It's not made for humans. It's... Uh, if you're driving around in the summer, you know, you're driving through Texas, you're driving through Arizona, it is so hot in the summer and it is so cold at night. Uh, you know, you're driving through Colorado, through the mountains, through the altitude in Utah. It's freezing cold. There's Las no Vegas. <laughs> in Las Vegas, it does get cold here at night. Damn straight. You're right. There's kids here. Yeah. No cussing. There's kids here. <laughs> Hello, Las Vegas. <laughs> So it gets so hot and so cold, there's no ventilation, there's nothing that's meant for people to be back there. And we had this, this energy drink endorsement, it was not Monster, it was a different energy drink endorsement. <laughs> and, uh, and we had these, these pallets of energy drinks that had fit between the seats of our van, best laid plans, right? We had to put them in the back of the truck, and then the bass player and I, who were too young to have our driver's licenses, had to lay on the energy drinks. So we'd wake up every morning with these circles <laughs> on our back and our butt. 
and uh, and it was so rock and roll. Like it was, and we were out there doing it. And when I think back on those formative years of my touring, you know, now I have a I have a great life. You know, I have my own hotel room every night. I don't have to share a hotel room with everybody in the band. <laughs> you know, we you know, we were touring with with four sleeping bags, and we would you know we 